Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, this is a tutorial, video tutorial on um, your first hand on IDS. So you bought an Islamic display system or you are willing to buy one. Um, basically we will tell you how to register the software and how to know the features of it. Um, well when you buy the software you either get a complete system i.e. with the screen, the computer uh, and the software package or you could buy the software package on its own. Now, if you buy the um, software alone, then there are a few steps that you need to go through, and uh, this is exactly what we're gonna tell you about today. First of all, you need to make sure that you have um, Dropbox and OpenOffice. Dropbox, if you know it, is a popular software. It's basically how we share your software package with you. You install Dropbox in your account, in your computer, and we put the whole software package in your Dropbox folder. So Dropbox is very popular. You go to dropbox.com and you download the um, software. And the same thing for OpenOffice. OpenOffice is like Microsoft Office, but it's free. So you don't have to pay for it. And the need for OpenOffice is because you will use it to edit the database. In IDS, you can change basically the times, the prayer times for the whole year. So. Um, you need to make sure that you have OpenOffice and Dropbox. The links of these two softwares are below under the video. Right, so you got a Dropbox, you got um, OpenOffice, and um, you're willing, well, you got IDS as well, or you're willing to buy an IDS. If you buy it, you normally will receive an account, so we'll make an account for you, and you receive uh, the software package, something like this. So there's a few files that you will have. What is important for you is the file that has an icon of IDS. So this file is what you need to click on. So you just basically, when you receive them, or, or when you buy the uh, software, we'll create an account in Dropbox and share these files with you. You will just basically um, run the software and um, you will just wait for it to load and then it will launch and it will ask you to register. So this is a very important um, step that you need to do. Right, so you'll get the screen clearly, it asks you to register and you will enter your details, whatever, and you will say submit. In this space you will get a message saying, well, we received your um, request. Now it's very very important that you are online. At this stage you need to be online. This has to be the case. Uh, you've got your, then we will send you the um, registration key and you got your key and we'll just basically paste it in that box and say register and it will give you a message that registration completed. Right. Now, this is the IDS admin software. So IDS is two, basically two types of software. One is the admin, which you control, you manage everything. And the other one is the display, which everyone sees in the masjid. Now the admin has four tabs. One is the daily prayer times and you can view the times for you know the whole month or the whole year you can temporarily change the times here however there's the edit prayer times and this is how you change the time for the whole month or the year we will do another video about this it's a very specific task that we will tell you about however for the time being you just need to know generally what IDS does and how to tickle and how to tweak all the small stuff so this is the announcements, you can change these um, text announcements, these appear at the bottom of the screen normally. So these are scrolling text that appear at the bottom, you just can type them here, in English, in Arabic. You could always load an image with any language you want, of course. It's just a JPEG image, normal JPG image, you just load it and, uh, well, you put whatever you want, you design it uh, on any software and you decide for how many seconds you want to put it and you just press um, you know preview and you will see it you could load really any type of you know announcement any design that you want now if you want to say who are running the masjid if somebody wants to get in touch with the imam or the committee you could put right their names here and it's an optional thing to show this to the people or not. So it's an optional thing, I will show you in a second. However, you could just write the name, the position of the person and how you contact them. So this is a screen for you. It's an option screen if you want to keep it. 
Finally, the last tab is general settings. Now, this is uh, very important because you can change the time of every single screen that scrolls in the display, meaning uh, this is the clock, it appears. For the time being, we say just keep it for 2-3 seconds. You could change that for 10 seconds, it's up to you. Uh, the uh, event times, if you want to show it for um, two, three seconds, five seconds, whatever you you want. So it's basically you got full influence in changing the times for every screen that appears. Um, the uh, dua, you know, after the event, there's a dua. Allahumma rabb hadi da'wat tama. If you want to show it um, for how many seconds you will do it. If you put zero, by the way, on any of these, it just disables that screen, right? So that's important. If you put zero, it just disables it. Um, the dua after the salah. You know what, Allahumma uh, anta salam wa minka salam. So, these are very important things. When somebody finishes the prayer, normally this pops out and they will be able to read it. And you will decide for how many seconds you will leave it. There's a default actually, suggested time, i.e., from our knowledge, from our study. We know how that normally takes, but it's up to you. You could control these things. Um, a general dua, this is very important. It's just something to remind people about Allah, about you know spiritual things. It's very, very, not very chosen du'as that you will see there, as well as um, donation du'as. So this is very important. There are many um, hadiths about donations, the importance of donation. So this actually I mean for you to generate income for the mosque. It encourages people to donate for the mosque. And again, there are many other screens about how long the adhan will stay. The salah, and this is very important. When the salah comes in, there will be about 60 second count down, and then this pops out, and it says, you know, the salah is now in progress. Um, when this appears, nothing. First of all, no scrolling, no screen, nothing flashes because it, you know, so it doesn't disturb anyone in the masjid. This is very important, and of course, it shows that mobile phones, you know, has to be off. So this is very useful. As well as there's something about the shuruq. If you want the shuruq to pop out, you know, it's the time when um, it's impermissible to pray. So there you could choose how many minutes that happens. And it appears actually at the shuruq time. And the same thing for the zawal. Uh, these are optional as well. If you put zero on here, this screen uh, doesn't appear at all. So it's totally down to you. If you, as I said before, if you want to cancel the committee screen, you don't want people to know who's you know running the masjid it's totally down to you, you just put a zero on, on how many seconds you want to leave this for and it doesn't appear as well as you know it just says about who's running it who's making the um, system here ids again if you don't want this you can disable it by just putting zero finally and um, there is that speed you know the um, scrolling bar at the bottom um this bar if you want to decide the speed of it you just basically um, change the number here. Four is the default case, and we're not expecting anyone to change it, but hey, it's up to you. Right, and finally, if you want to change the um, Hijri date, uh, first of all, you could have the Hijri date, or you could disable it. So you could just basically unactivate it, or just activate it. Um, if you want to choose the date, you just scroll down and get from the list. Um, every the end of the month you need to check this because you know Hijri date is a, moon, is a lunar calendar so it changes uh, so you need just to check this uh, but every day it will change automatically just the end of the month the Hijri month that you need to make sure it's the correct um, time the, the correct date and finally the password you just basically uh, change it here and choose the password that you want so this is general idea on on the system you're happy with everything you just go here you see that button and just pre press on the save and run you click on it and then here we go you got the software uh, running this is the display and this is the display and keeps scrolling on the left you see the jama'a times so this is the jama'a time that um, um, you know the assembly prayer now the red times is the past time i.e. fajr and shuruq has already gone so it goes in red and it shows the date for tomorrow so 6.45 is tomorrow's um, time it's not today However, uh, 12.45 for Dhuhr is of course the next prayer and you see it flashing as well. So the flashing bit is next prayer, the red one is what is past, the blue ones are the ones coming until the end of the day. And as you see, there are many du'as coming out and at the bottom, again, you could choose the language, um, the, you know, the scrolling um, text announcements and this is the screen announcement as well, the poster we call it, poster announcements. Somebody died, you want to announce it, you collected some donation you want to say how much money you collected it's, it's it's a link between you and you know the people in the masjid um it's very secure software by the way and if you want to um go to the admin 
uh, access you just click on um, that button and then you'll be able to exit the software so nobody can exit the software except if they have um, this um, password so I will just basically enter I mean the password here and the software will just exit and you'll go back to the admin page so that's about it really now as I said before the times the prayer times for the whole year you can edit it through here um, look at the video um, on the link at the bottom and here just somewhere here in the screen and then you will be able to see how you can edit the times for the whole year hope that was uh, useful for you assalamu alaikum